that choke point, that detonation of the ID. We're up front. To me, it's a, it's a position of power almost. Fear of hearing an explosion behind you. Just think about that time that they got hit. It's not just driving a vehicle. You're 100% you're all the time. It's all three of us. We're not really friends, not really enemies. We're just brothers. It weighs heavy on us. It's definitely an adrenaline rush. Communication is, is the key. The first on scene up front in the combo. We keep each other going um, as far as talking, communicating, always just utilizing everything we have at our disposal. We, we got to keep ourselves alert, so it's a lot of panning at, in and out of the vehicle, uh, looking in front of us, constantly just you know eyes glued to the road. We have to make a decision whether we want to go over something that, you know, there might be a possible ID, or do we want to go around it and, and make the terrain and, and possibly lose a load. So there's there's choices that uh, come in there. There's been multiple occasions when, you know, we've had to move traffic, move people. We've had to stop traffic post ID blast. You can't do that all on your own. As good as you get, you think, you know, hey, I could do this with just anyone, but that definitely isn't true when it comes to uh, the guys I have. You have to definitely get along. I mean, we squabble, we argue, but that comes with a job. Tensions get high because, you know, you know, if you make that wrong decision, it, it weighs on you. There's, you know, that ultimate detonation of the ID, and that, that just weighs on everybody. You know, every time we go out, I think about that time that they got hit and, you know, we kind of beat ourselves up about it immediately after and it, uh, it definitely had to work itself out of your mind. You can't just push it out, something like that.